Hey y'all, Coach Nafai here on July the 19th in the year 2023. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the recent sighting of the new moon and how it started the fourth month and not the fifth month on the sacred calendar. So be prepared to learn about the calendar and how it works. Some intricate details, which we're going to find to be very important in this season, especially for those of us who want to keep the fall festival days in their correct season. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the book of Jubilees as well as the book of Enoch to get an understanding of these days of remembrance, what they mean and how we're supposed to use them in order to keep our sacred calendar calibrated. So first of all, let's come over here to the book of Enoch. This is first Enoch in about chapter 72, where we get into the book of the revolutions of the luminaries of heaven. This is all part of the geocentric calendar book, which covers about 10 chapters, 10 chapters where Enoch describes what the sacred calendar is supposed to look like and how it is supposed to work. Those who are on different calendars will typically avoid this book, Enoch 1, which is actually the first book on the planet that was ever written. Like we learn in Genesis that he was taught by the angels. Well, one of the things he was taught was how the sacred calendar works. And we'll be using this information to understand the day of remembrance. All right. So now let's come down to where Enoch starts talking about these gates. This is very important. We see here that he first starts talking about the sun and its relationship to these gates or these portals. And then down in the following verses, it goes on to describe them. Now, we're not going to read all of this, but let me help you to get an understanding of what it says here simply by reading just a few of these. Like starting down here in about verse 11, where it starts talking about the fourth gate through which the sun and the moon proceeds in the first part of it. It says that there are 12 windows that open from which issues out a flame when open in their proper periods. So what this is saying is that when this fourth gate opens, this fourth portal as described in other translations, but when this fourth portal opens, there are 12 windows that opens. And it says that when they are opened in their proper season, there is a fire that proceeds. So what it's saying is when we have our months correctly, we can take advantage of this spiritual renewal. I don't know. Let's talk about that in the comment section. Anyway, what we come here for is just to get the timing of these gates down here you see that it's saying the period in which the days are getting longer than the nights in the first month but then when we scroll down to the 12th month or the last month we see that the last day of the year the 364th day of the year is the day in which the day length and the night length are equal and the days are getting longer the day and the night length happens two times a year on the equinoxes, equal days and equal nights is what the equinoxes is supposed to mean. But there's only one time in which the days are getting longer than the nights in the fall. The nights are getting longer than the days, but in the spring, the days are getting longer than the nights. So in other words, the spring equinox begins the first window. And then we learn that these windows are 30 days long. You have 12 windows each having 30 days in them with the addition of a day and it falls in the fourth gate that's where we have 31 days just like we have 31 days in the sixth gate and then we have 31 days in the fourth gate we see down here while the others are 30 days long and then we see that there are 31 days in the first gate so looking over at our Enoch calendar, what it's saying is with the spring equinox opens to 12 windows, each one of these windows has 30 days of peace in it. And then there are four additional days that only occur at these particular portals or these particular windows. And we see in chapter 74 that they occur in the first gate, the third gate, the fourth gate and the sixth gate. So. 
let's figure out when these gates are. Like we said, the last day of the year would be the spring equinox, when the days and the nights are equal. That would be March the 20th. That would be the 364th day of the year. So the first day of the year would be March the 21st. I hope that makes sense. Let's look back over here. Um, when we're talking about the last window, it says at that period, the night becomes shortened in the nine parts and the night is equal with the day. That's talking about the last day of the year is when they become equal. So the equinox is actually the last day of the year. So March the 20th in the year 2023 was the last day of the previous year. And so March the 21st will be the first day of the year. So let's come over to this table and let's figure out when these windows open. So 321 would be day one. The equinox, when the days and the nights are equal, that would be day zero. And so what we find out is that the next window opens on 419. That would be 30 days. Then when we come down to 60 days, that window will open on 519. And then when we come down to 90 days, we see that that window opens on 618. But you look there, there's the 91st day. So the day of remembrance would have occurred on a new moon after June the 19th. Let me say that again. The day of remembrance or the seasonal day, that very important day, must have started after June the 19th. But they reported seeing the new moon on June the 18th. And you may have seen a video we did because it was a really big deal. Um, being that this new moon fell on June the 18th means that it actually fell in the previous season. Remember, the day of remembrance doesn't start until June the 19th, the earliest possible day of summer. It's June the 19th. There's no way for summer to start earlier than June the 19th, according to the sacred calendar. That's the first day. That's the 91st day of the season. But the moon was sighted on June the 18th, which means that it was not in the proper window. Therefore, it does not count as the fifth month. It is still part of the fourth month. The fifth month doesn't start until the new moon after June the 19th and then the next seasonal starts let me change that up that would put the window to open on June the 20th again being the earliest time that we can have summer but we have to have the confirmation of the moon first so what we're seeing here is that the moon is appearing on the 29th day of that window so in other words that's the fourth month the sighting of the new moon on July the 18th began the fourth month not the fifth month. The earliest possible date of the fifth month would have been July the 20th. In other words, the new moon would have had to have fallen after July the 20th to be considered the fifth month. So it is still the fourth month. I hope you guys are understanding this. It's, this is really important. In other words, what we had here is we had two new moons to fall in this period here. That's what they call the black moon where there are actually two new moons in the same window. Well, those two new moons in the same window does not create another month. The 13th month is actually falling in the middle of the spring season, not at the end of the year like the other guys always want to claim. They're going to count their 13th month later on in the year, which will get them back on track for the year 2024. The only problem is, and we'll cover it in other videos, is that the fall festivals would have been missed. They're going to miss the fall festivals because they're going to be a month early. We'll still be in the summer. Matter of fact, let me, let me show you right quick. We see that there will be a new moon on about September the 14th in the year 2023 and they're going to start counting that as the seventh month but when you look here the fall equinox doesn't occur until september the 23rd so this september the 14th sighting will be before the fall equinox so it's a very big deal 
I wish this channel was a little more popular because there are going to be so many people that's going to miss this information and celebrate their feast days in the wrong month. But maybe we'll be there to help them recover in the following months. So let's make sure by then we have a clear understanding of everything that's going on here. And we can do so by communicating and chatting, even debating or dialoguing down in the comment section of this video so we can get this hashed out uh, for the sake of others. So let's chat down there. And in the meantime, go ahead and hit the like button if you got anything out of this video. And I'll see you in the comment section. Shalawama.